modified sit and reach is a test to evaluate extensibility of the hamstrings, the glutes, and also uh, the calf muscles, which comprise the posterior extensor chain. How to execute the exercise, we're going to place our feet 12 inches apart at the 15 inch line on the measuring tape, and we're going to remain seated on the ground. We're going to interlock our fingers between one another, and we're going to inhale deeply, and then exhale as we reach all the way down and out. No jerking motions, no bouncing, and we will have three trials of which the best will be scored. The push-up. The push-up is going to be a test to evaluate muscular endurance of the upper body and also the muscles of the lumbopelvic hip complex, also known as the core. For its execution, we're going to place our hands at shoulder width, and we're going to position the thumbs to where they are directly beneath the armpits. The arms are not going to be too far from the body. And if you take an aerial view, the person executing the push-up should look like an arrow and not a T. So we're not going to have those arms out wide. We can place an object beneath us, ranging anywhere from two to four inches off the ground, to kind of serve as feedback and also prevent strain on the anterior aspect of the shoulders. We're going to get into a plank position where our head, our hips, and our heels are all going to remain in line with one another, and we're going to slowly bring ourselves down to the floor, pause, and back up. We'll be doing this over the course of one minute. Alternatively, we'll do a push-up from the knees or a modified push-up for those who have experienced injuries and also may not have sufficient or requisite upper body strength. So what we'll do is we'll position our knees close together, flex the knees at 90 degrees. We can also cross one leg over the other and the execution remains the same. Only this time, the knees will serve as the pivot point. Box drill. Box drill evaluates change of direction. We will first assume an athletic ready position and we are going to shuffle as quickly as we can to the right. Keep in mind that we're in close quarters here, so I would go at half speed. <laughs> now we will back pedal. Now we'll shuffle to the left and finally sprint through to the first cone. That will be timed on both the right and also the left side, evaluating change of direction. The single legged balance test evaluates multiplanar stability. We're going to hold this for as long as we possibly can, keeping the knee higher than the hip. Looking from the side, again, the knee higher than the hip. And we'll be holding that for time each side. The broad jump is used to evaluate muscular power and also explosiveness. What we'll do is we're going to get our feet shoulder to hip width. We're going to shoot our hips back and we're going to make sure that all of our weight is evenly distributed on each foot. We'll next go ahead, we'll rip the arms up and then leap and land softly. Distance will be measured.